Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell so that you never miss any of these Cardano updates. So today it's going to be looking at the overall market. We've seen a really nice price rise overnight. Lots of bears are in hiding this morning. They got a severe beating overnight with the massive pump by Bitcoin, followed by the rest of the market as well. Lots of rumors around Amazon. We'll take a look at them as well as looking across the market to see what could have caused this and are we now fully bullish? Is it all green candles from here on in? Like if you look at Twitter, people who were completely bearish yesterday are now fully bullish. If you've been following my videos, you'll know there's one key level that I want to see us start to close daily candles above before we will go extreme bull mode again. So let's jump into it. Please give the video a like, leave a comment below or share it out there if you think others can benefit from it. I really do appreciate that. Now let's jump in. Okay, let's start out here taking a very quick look at CoinGecko. As you can see, lots of green across the board today on the hourly, 24 hour and the seven day. So you can see Bitcoin up 12% in the last 24 hours. Cardano up 10.5%, which is still a really nice gain to see as well. You can see Binance Coin not up just as much. And I would say just on that, the reason that we see these differences is because What's good to keep in mind over the next few weeks as well is looking at your coin against Bitcoin because if Bitcoin does go on a big run, then some altcoins out there will see some big losses in sats value. So that is the value of your coin against Bitcoin. With what Cardano has coming up, it's not something that I am really worried about at all. And in fact, the small dip against Bitcoin last night was... It was welcome from my side. So I have been mentioning I had buy orders in at 3,300 sats. They got filled last night. They've been sitting there for a few weeks. So now I'm happy for it to go up. If it dips to them levels again, I may potentially put some more Bitcoin into ADA as well. So looking at the BTC USD chart. So what caused these, this massive spike? I would say some liquidations on the shorts would have helped push us even higher. Right now, what is being I suppose credited with the initial pump is Amazon readying to accept Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano and Bitcoin Cash according to an insider. And I think City AM was one of the first to put this out there. Supposedly an insider contacted them, told them that this is going to happen. I've seen other sources, but again, these are all rumors right now. Sources saying that high up people have confirmed that Amazon will accept cryptocurrency by the end of the year. So again, this definitely could have been the catalyst for the spike in the market. They also have been advertising for a digital cryptocurrency and blockchain product lead over the last few days. So they are definitely getting deeper into the cryptocurrency space. Now, again, some people will say, why would you spend your crypto on Amazon? And to me, it's not, a, it's not about that. I don't want to spend my crypto on Amazon, but to me, there's a bigger picture here. So if you look at it, that a company like Amazon going out there and accepting cryptocurrency, what that says to the open market, to a lot of people who are not interested in cryptocurrency yet is cryptocurrency is something you should take note of. It's not going anywhere. When we went from over $60,000 of Bitcoin down to $30,000, the general media wiped it all away and said, Bitcoin's dead, crypto is gone, and the retail traders would have just left the market. But when they see someone like Amazon starting to accept it, starting to acknowledge that it is going to be here for the long term, that will bring a huge injection into the market as well. So again, I really do hope there are a lot more than rumors, but over the next few weeks and months, we will see what happens there. So let's take a very quick look at the charts then. As you can see on the RSI down here, we have finally broken out of the downtrend on the RSI and still has room to grow before we get overbought on the daily chart anyway. When we come down into the hourly and four hour, you'll see we are starting to get a little bit oversold in the short term. But looking at this, Again, for me, the levels that I mentioned, $31,000 and $41,000 are still the two levels that until we break solidly out of either of them, I'm not going to get way, way over bullish or way, way over bearish. I'm waiting to see what happens. But with this strong push to the upside, it is really, really positive to see. Can we challenge $41,000 in the next 24 hours? If we can, that would be extremely strong. Again, when we did drop below 31 last week, we didn't spend too long down there at all, the same as what has previously happened here. If we go in on the four hour, we can see here, 
this was a really strong push to the upside here. And if you start looking at percentages on this, you can see, take it in around here. So at this point here, people might've been thinking that the price will be rejected around $33,000. So they might've been putting in shorts in around here. So if they did, let's, oh, wrong one. If they put in shorts there, what you will be looking at is around thirty-six dollars to $37,000 you're already over 10%. So anyone at, I suppose at this point here, $36,000, $36,500, anyone who went 10X short at around $33,000 got liquidated at this point. That means that they have to close their shorts, they have to buy back into the market, which would have helped push us higher and higher. So then people even on other leverage would have got liquidated to help push the market even higher. But even outside that, we look at the liquidation stats in a minute, you can see that we got the initial pump pullback, which is standard in a market. But what is the most important thing for me to see here is that we're getting support at this point here. We're now getting the buying pressure to see, can we push back up to break that 40,000 and then on for $41,000? If we look at Binance, you will see this chart going around as well. Binance hit $48,000 with a wick last night on the leveraged trading platform. So again, Anybody that was short on Binance, I would say nearly no matter what the leverage was, unless you were like 2X or 3X, then you would have got liquidated last night on Binance. You can see, again, I would say this spike here happened with a lot of liquidations. There was a big short squeeze here that pushed the price right up here because there was more people buying and even the shorts that were getting liquidated were being turned into buys. So what that done was just push the market higher and higher and you can see it has stabilized now to be across the board with the rest of the market right now. If you look at the liquidation stats on buybt.com, you can see that there was a decent amount of short liquidations last night. Again, this would have all helped to push the price up. Nowhere near the level that we've seen with the long liquidations back on the 18th of May when we had them huge drops down to $30,000 for the first time in a long time. But again, fairly significant overall when you look over the last where we back over June, July, it is the probably the biggest amount of liquidations over the last month anyway. So let's look at some of the other coins. Well, specifically ADA, because that is what a lot of us are interested in. So once again, when we fell last week, we held 102. But what's great to see here is that with this push overnight, we have broken the downtrend that ADA has been in at this point. So since the beginning of June, we've basically been in the downtrend. You can even go back here, I suppose, back to the 16th of May, and we have been trending down since that. But right now, looking to really break out of that. So what we want to see is this candle closing Again, it would take a massive dump to not close above this, but closing above the 120 today and building on this to really push to break this point here, which would be a dollar and fifty cent, breaking that and then looking upwards from there. Right now, things look extremely positive. Again, if we look at the RSI on the daily, you can see looking to break out of this as well. Again, bit of a downtrend on the RSI, so looking to push up. Still lots of room on the RSI, lots of room to move up there as well. So in general, things look extremely good right now for cryptocurrency. Just on the ADA BTC chart, so you can see overnight we did dip out of the long-term uptrend for ADA BTC. And this is what I'm talking about, that if Bitcoin does go on a run, we can potentially see coins not being able to keep up with Bitcoin right now. But with what ADA has come in with smart contracts, hopefully launching the end of August, I think August will be a bumper month for the ADA price. So again, as I say, with this dip last night, I was happy enough to see it because my orders were around here, which did get filled. And if we did come back down to this level again, I'd probably set some more in around the 3000 sats level to pick up more ADA at that stage. I wouldn't like to see it coming down there, but if it is, I'm just going to use it to convert more BTC into ADA. So again, going to keep watching this. If the markets continue like this, I will do more regular videos, just concentrating on the price to see where things go. But the overall message right now is watching Bitcoin to see, can Bitcoin push for $41,000, which will be very good for the overall market. Can it push above this, start closing some daily candles above this level, and then we can start to look to see what is to come up here. 
Thanks very much for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. If you got some value, please do give it a like, leave a comment, share it out there. All of that really, really does help, and it is very much appreciated. I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.